Hi and welcome back. Today I have a fascinating video for you. In today's video, we are talking to Dr. Kang Kao, a scientist, anti-aging authority, and professor of cell biology and molecular genetics at the University of Maryland. Dr. Kang Kao, by accident, discovered that a common dye called methylene blue has incredible anti-aging properties for human skin. Some actually say that this common dye is even more powerful than what we know as the gold standard in anti-aging, tretinoin or retin-A. So without further ado, let's talk to Dr. Kan Kao. Hello, Dr. Kao. It's so great to have you on the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Would you please introduce yourself and tell us just a little bit about your background? Sure, happy to. So I, my name is Ken Tao. I'm a professor at the University of Maryland. I study a premature aging disease called progeria in my research laboratory at the University of Maryland. I'm also the founder and the CSO of a biotech company called M Blue Labs. M Blue Labs specializes in making methylene blue based skincare products. Our brand is called Blue Ling. Now, you just mentioned methylene blue, so let's get right into it. So, as I understand, you discovered that this common dye has some incredible skin properties. So, tell us a little bit about how you discovered that and what are the skin properties it has? Great question. So, uh, yeah, so methylene blue is a man-made, I didn't make it, man-made chemical, which was made in 1876, I believe. So it has been around for over 150 years. It has been used commonly in the laboratory as a dye and also in medicine. In medicine, it has been used at a high dosage as a placebo to trace because of its blue color and also as an active, for example, to treat malaria for its antibacterial, antifungal effect, and also to treat recently Alzheimer's disease in the phase two clinical trial for its antioxidant property. So the research I have been doing is on progeria, which is an accelerated aging disease. And the material we have in the laboratory are the skin cells from the patients. There are very few. We have about 200 patients, maybe I can be wrong, but it's in the same, around that area, 200 patients worldwide. So the, as you can imagine, the these are very precious material. We have a little bit of their skin cells as a system, as a model for us to find the treatment for this disease. And what we have seen is a very severe mitochondrial defects in this accelerated aging skin cells. So those, as you may know, mitochondria are considered the energy production machinery for the cells. And if they go wrong, the cells are not going to be very healthy. And the mitochondria uh, dysfunction and the mutations are associated with human aging and the human age-related diseases. So I was actively searching for a mitochondrial drug. That's how I stepped upon methylene blue. And we also used normal skin cells as control for progeria patient skin cells. What my research have shown, which published in Aging Cell in 2016 is, we see methylene blue benefited both the, our controls and as well as the, the progeria skin cells. And we found methylene blue can actually do so many things after we done data use a 3D bioengineered skin from the normal cells. And we have the epidermis, dermis, just as you can imagine, a normal skin section. And we studied how methylene blue can help the skin cells, uh, our skin. So what we have found, I can list a few like benefits. 
So the first one is we find after only in two weeks, if you put a very small dosage of methylene blue into that skin and the collagen and the elastin, those are the healthy looking youth fibers under our skin. Their amount are doubled. Wow. And yeah, then we see the hydration of the skin and the lipid, like uh, metabolism, everything was promoted, become much healthier and the skin hydration is improved. If we cut the skin open and to look for the recovery, which we call a wound healing assay, we find that the skin has been primed or treated with methylene blue is recovered much faster than the, the skin without methylene blue protection. And we also find that overall methylene blue can promote the skin cells proliferation and also reduce the overall cellular stress, which we call reactive oxygen species, the, the amount, ROS amount. Wow, that is fascinating. Do we understand, I'm sure you do, I don't, <laughs> but do you understand how it works, how it how this, this common dye, how it facilitates these changes? Well, this is an excellent question. I hope I do Absolutely, but I, I guess that the answer is yes and no. So the yes part, what we know from the beginning, we know it was used as a mitochondrial drug. That's how I initially was using methylene blue. And the methylene blue is an antioxidant. So it has an oxidized form and a reduced form. The oxidized form gives methylene blue the blue color. The reduced one is colorless. So it's MBH2. So, and it can switch from the oxidized and the reduced form very easily. And the redox, the, the gap, the energy gap between these two is almost the same as our endogenous antioxidant, like our cells produce, like NAD, NADH, this type of. And so, methylene blue can basically jump into their. They are, they are, they are a spectrum and doing things with them. And the other fun part of methylene blue is methylene blue is a, a very soluble molecule. So it can get into the lipid easily. It can also enter the water phase. So it, there is no barrier for methylene blue. So once you add methylene blue to the cells, you can see it get into the nucleus. It gets into the, the mitochondria. And inside the mitochondria, as we know, there is electron transport to produce energy by the mitochondria. And those electrons often get released and bind to oxygen, then become superoxide. That's the primary cause of our cellular, we call oxidation, which uh, oxidize our protein, oxidize our DNA for mutation, oxidize the protein for pigmentations and causing aging and other, even cancer. So once the electrons is released, become free, it's very dangerous or bad for our cells. But if methylene blue sits there, it will capture those electrons. And it also will donate it out when it's needed. So I view methylene blue inside my mitochondria as a kind of a lubricator or a catalyzer. So we don't need a huge amount of it because it can always re receive and donate, but it sits there and help to prevent electron leakage and make sure the energy production is smoother. Actually, I forgot to mention methylene blue treated cells actually produce more ATP than the, the cells without methylene blue treatment. But that's only the part of the story of methylene blue. The reason I initially thought I know everything about methylene blue until last year, we also published another a research article in Nature Scientific Reports. In that article, we have we find that methylene blue can absorb a broad spectrum of UVs from UVA to UVB. We know UVB is very hard uh, harmful for our skin. That's how we have the SPF and the sunscreen products. And the UVA methylene blue not only can absorb it, it can also come back to its post UVA effect, like the the oxidation, the ROS. And the, more, the most importantly is 
methane blue has, is not a, like a rare chemical. People use it all the time. For example, in aquarium. And it has been used as one of the most popular aquarium cleaner. And I heard if you just squeeze a big dosage of methane blue into your aquarium, like you can protect the fish eggs from wounds and from bacteria infection. Actually, you have a much successful rate of recovering those little fishes, little fish, which I think this is an important aspect of methane blue because the currently widely used chemical in sunscreen is called oxybenzone. Mm -hmm. Oxybenzone has been shown to be harmful to sea creatures, especially the our sea, we, we call red forest of the sea, the coral reefs. So we did a side-by-side -side experiment in the publication, the scientific report in 2011, uh, 2021. So we find in seven days, oxybenzone can kill the corals. We put it in a little aquarium, but on the, in the same aquarium, same setting, same condition, we have methylene blue treated the coral. They look so happy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so that is incredible. So I, I said in my intro that some people say that methylene blue is possibly more powerful than retin-A. Now, listening to you talk, because retin-A we know is the gold standard in anti-aging or tretinoin, but listening to you talk, it definitely sounds like it has quite a bit up on, on retin-A because it has so many different benefits. So how yeah. how would you would you say that it is definitely something that is even better as far as the gold standard in anti-aging than what we know, tretinoin? Wow, this is a challenging question, I would say so. <laughs> I am a scientist. I do not claim things I have not seen, and I do. That's how we do it. So the whole the skin line blue link we develop now. We have about ten skews. Everything we have done there has have been tested in the laboratory in the skin cells. So we know it's beneficial. So what I can say about retinol retinol is we actually did. A uh, side by side comparison of vitamin A and the methylene blue on human skin fibroblasts. We tried the young fibroblasts, we tried the older fibroblasts, we tried the male, female. So we tried the different things. What we have seen is methylene blue promoted skin proliferation, vitamin A didn't. Methylene mm -hmm. blue has a much better. A, a way to combat uh, ROS, the uh, reactive oxygen species in the laboratory by the ROS assay. I just want to be specific that we did ROS and we didn't see much happening with retinol A, uh, retinol of vitamin A. So in that aspect, we do see methylene blue outperformed vitamin A in, in all these tested aspects. Wow, that's very interesting. And of course, we know that retin <laughs> Yeah, that's very interesting. Of course, we know that retin-A can also make us more sensitive to the sun. And you just said that methylene blue can actually help protect us from the sun. So that's another benefit that it has. Yeah, and uh, the, for methylene blue, like our skin care product, we have fine. It's definitely, uh, there are additional components. We are very careful in choosing what are the other components in our skincare line. So our, the blueing is good for sensitive skin. So we do not have those common effects that people observe with retinol. So there is no peeling yeah, type of things and no irritation. We actually have worked with an uh, independent third party, did a clinical study on methylene blue's effect on, on, I think, 45 individuals and no report of any irritation happened there. And people do see a reduction in, like, in terms of wrinkles and pigmentations. Wow, so that again is another benefit of it then compared to the gold standard tretinoin because you don't have to get retinized, you don't have those this sensitivity with it. So that's incredible. Now, is your skincare company the only skincare company right now on the market that uses methylene blue? I'm not familiar with another one. 
I think so, because we do have a pattern to protect us. So the pattern is owned by the University of Maryland. So in that pattern, so we patented the methane blue usage in skincare, including all forms of delivery methods like a, a soap or a lotion or a spray, you know, etc. That's that's incredible. Now, are there any contraindications as far as using your products or products containing methylene blue, which we know don't exist right now, but just in case somebody goes out and buys their own methylene blue and smears it on their face, are there any contraindications, anything we need to know, we need to be careful with? So uh, we do receive customers' email on and off asking us, like, uh, what is the concentration of methylene blue in your products, uh, which, as you, you probably know, like, uh, we cannot really say too much but uh, i want to deliver the mess messages if you want to make your own at home with a favorite lotion you have to be really careful of the source of medicine blue you get from you cannot use the aquarium based because yeah as methane blue is a synthetic chemical so during the process the purity is a key so what we have been adding to our skincare line is a farm grade methane blue so it's very pure so it has no other contaminations hopefully yeah i'm glad you said that because i know some of my subscribers are going to go on amazon and purchase some methane blue and try to make their own but that could be dangerous because it could be meant for aquariums so you want yeah. a cosmeceutical type methyl in blue, obviously, for this. Mm -hmm. Great, but you're not aware of any contraindications with it. You haven't ever had anybody react to it or had any side effects or. Uh, for our uh, skincare line, I haven't heard, but just you know, I know people. There are a group of people who are taking methyl in blue orally, you know, and there are. And there are a lot of people taking methylene blue in different ways. The message I do want to deliver is this. I think that's very important for you to find where the methylene blue come from and how pure is the methylene blue are the key. Because it is not an, ex uh, not an expensive chemical and we use it in the laboratory. You just mentioned some people take it internally. What are the benefits of that? I know we're kind of going a bit of subject for as far as skincare, but just briefly, what are the benefits of taking it internally? I have not done it, but I I have done mouse studies. I only talk about what I know. So when we inject the mesonine glue to, to mouse and there is a knife extension, not very much but by a little bit observed in animal studies and i think people are taking it most likely is because the methane blue has been used in phase two clinical trial for alzheimer's disease and it is believed to be a chemical that can penetrate the blood brain barrier mm -hmm. and get delivered into the brain and help the neuron cells to to act to function so there are the, on the on the internet, it was if you were saying, I feel my mind is clear always methane blue intake, but I do not know. I have not studied it. Okay, that's that's very interesting. Now, getting back to skincare, can methylene blue or your product, since you are the only company right now selling products with methylene blue, can they be combined with other actives? If somebody wanted to combine it with retin A or vitamin C or alpha hydroxy acids, anything, any other active ingredients. I can tell you is we did do a study. We combined methylene blue and vitamin C. We have observed a synergistic effect in both of these antioxidants added together. In this case, one plus one is over two. It's, it's fabulous, especially works well in mature skins. So when we have the, the skin from the older patients that they work much better. So. Based on that research, we developed a product in our line called the Night Plus Plus. So that's a line we have, which has the methane blue and the vitamin C, and the people love it. I can imagine. But Dr. Kao, this was absolutely fascinating. I had, of course, familiarized myself with methylene blue, and I read a lot of your research, but I wasn't aware of all the benefits it had. So. I, I want to bathe in it now at this point, but I would love to, if that's okay with you, uh, link your products below this video, and maybe we can offer my subscribers a discount if that's possible, if they want to try the methylene blue products. 
Oh, it's a great honor. So we, I have created a coupon code for your audience for all the products in our line. On our website is www.bluelink.com. That is very generous of you. Thank you so much. And of course, I will link it down below. I will link the website and the coupon, but that is very generous of you. Thank you so, so much. I know that a lot of my subscribers are going to want to try it and we'll give you feedback back once we've tried it for a little while. Please. Yes. Is there anything else you would like to add? This has been, like I said, really fascinating and I'm so grateful you came on the channel. You know, you can email me at drtao at mbluelabs.com if you have any feedbacks. That's great. Thank you so much for being open to that. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the opportunity again. I hope you enjoyed this interview with Dr. Kao as much as I did. As I mentioned in this video, I will link all of Dr. Kao's products down below in the description box, along with the coupon code she provided for us. And if you end up trying her products, please keep us posted on how you like them. And if you're thinking about making your own products containing methyl and blue, I know some of you are thinking about it. I am actually thinking about it. Please make sure to get pharmaceutical grade methyl in blue. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. You know, I always love to hear from you. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time. Bye.